how we bring our heart and our spirit into this, is the great gift that will now transform how the world works. Job, I think, as the women who are changing this world, and thank you, by the way, is to say, what's next for me in this work? What's the one thing you can do in the next 30 days that scares you just a little bit, but could be the thing that transforms how you move through this world as a change agent? Because it is up to us, after all. There is no one outside this ballroom right now with a manual on how to fix it. Nobody else has it. The key is that it's us. The American poet June Jordan, who did a lot of work in South Africa, about this work said, and who will join in this standing up? We are the ones we have been waiting for. I am telling you now, I have traveled throughout this world and met women from all walks of life, and it's us. And you look at what has to happen next for you. Because when I was 23 and people told me I was too young to be an activist, to be a change agent, to change the way the world works, I did not agree. When I was told I didn't have the resources or the connections or I didn't know the right people to be able to make a difference, I did not agree. And the absolute truth is, I have only just begun. Be proud of who you are and how you contribute. Step into that completely and fully. Ask yourself what breaks my heart. Be proud of your spirit and your heart and how it moves and guides you. I promise you, I promise you, that's going to be the thing that changes this world. I promise. And I'll leave you with this last thing that someone shared with me months back in an email. And there was no author to it. I always try and credit great quotes, but this one didn't have one. But here is what it said. And my friend wrote, Kathy, this one made me think of you. Be the kind of woman that when you wake in the morning and put your feet on the floor, the devil says, oh, crap, she's up. <laughs> Thank you all very, 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 very much.